All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Netflix live action anime of One Piece season one. So here's the plot. Monkey D. Luffy and his pirate crew explore a fantastical world of endless oceans and exotic islands in search of the world's ultimate treasure to become the next pirate king. Now here is some of the cast. So I don't know much about the original anime, but it's like watching a new take on a pirate adventure with a weird cartoony look and feel to everything and everyone. So many different and unique characters and ships themes each have their own kind of vibe and backstory to them. So moreover, the main character Monkey surprised me in the first episode, a young pirate Stretch Armstrong with his super strong positive positive outlook on everything it was creepy how he smiles and looks at other characters at first but you definitely start to love him so much thanks to his contagious positive vibes he gives in each episode each fight scene whether it be the pirates or samurai side uh like zoro the character zoro uh was sell well put together with the choreography. I do wish it was more killing than them getting knocked out, but that's definitely a nitpick in my opinion, as everything about this was so different and such a fun time. You would get something different every time uh, with surprises. Really solid storylines that get better as it goes on, mostly with the main characters though, as there's more detail to them, which makes more sense. Uh, I do hope we get more backstory into backstory Black Flash, Black Flashes uh, with the other villains. Um, but only complaint I have is the CGI and spots could have been better. But it's it's still kind of a stretch as they even say that to be honest. Um, but definitely felt sad by the end because I was so immersed into the series I didn't want it to end um, I hope we don't get it canceled but it's a, I don't know it's with Netflix even if it has good reviews they tend to have a history of doing it so but let's just stay positive guys now let's do it um, but here's my rating and I'll come back with my final thoughts Easily my third favorite Netflix series, right after Stranger Things and Wednesday Addams Show. Definitely not just an anime for fans, but people who want a good adventure to watch with good hard values. I definitely recommend this series. Uh, but what are you guys' thoughts either way? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I can definitely see why this got positive reviews. It's, to, it's one of the reasons of the two that I went and actually decided to watch this. I was going to really watch it, but I wanted to wait because of Netflix history with uh, TV series in general, but also anime. Um, but uh, Bridge Co., my, my friends over there, uh, Bridget and Cody, were doing this. And, you know, I figured, you know, that's a little bit of a nudge for me to to go towards it more than I was going to. And I, I'm actually pretty happy as of right now. Um, everything can change. Uh, next seasons could be worse, could be better, could be the same. Uh, they can even cancel it. Let's hope that all those things are not going to be a problem. Uh, that it's, it, they're going to continue this for a while and they're going to stop. I think someone else new owns uh, Netflix, so I could be that be one of the places that is it uh, that uh, CO is new or something so maybe we'll get a new whole thing with not canceling good shows but who knows uh, but uh, just keep in mind keeping positive and speaking of which remember I love you all please stay safe everyone spread the love most importantly in this day and age I love you Skull